Guam YTK is responding to the Port Authority's motion for dismissal in the Supreme Court by filing an objection, asking the higher court to strike the port's motion. YTK issued a release pointing out that the port's motion for dismissal should not be considered since, according to procedural rules, it's not allowed at this juncture. This is because the Port Authority already has a pending appeal with the Supreme Court of Guam on a decision made against them in the lower court. YTK legal counsel Kathleen Fisher called the port's motion to dismiss a, quote, frivolous motion filed out of desperation, adding, quote, no one has ever seen anyone try to pull a stunt like this in the Guam Supreme Court while its very own appeal is pending, end quote. Fisher notes that the port is on the losing end of an argument, and this last-ditch effort by way of a motion to dismiss is a new argument that was never raised before. The port wants YTK's claims to confirm an arbitration panel's award of damages dismissed, arguing that the Supreme Court lacks jurisdiction to uphold an arbitration panel's decision. That decision is a costly one for the Port Authority, an award that has now ballooned to over $15 million that the arbitration panel says YTK is owed as a result of a breached contract for a fisheries facility. You can read YTK's objection online at thepacificnewscenter.com. Also tomorrow night, we'll be talking with the former project manager for YTK who says he wants to share the facts of this case.